What makes you skate? I don't know. Something inside of me feels empty when I don't skate. Driving your molecules over strained surfaces is acceptable. To trust that motion is to believe in your body.
celebrate the death of the pharaoh. Let thy ramp honor the life of the skater. When the ramp was completed, we were freaking and peeking all at the same time. In motion classrooms, the teacher goes straight to the boards. By treating the skateboard as one of the body's physical limbs, a boneless energy forms. It's an unstable bond dominated by gravity. This fight with gravity is known as the degree of freedom. <laughs>
Gavin Troy, he's from Arizona. Kind of one of those people that lets skating do his talking for him. Gavin, how is the Arizona scene going? It's pretty good. We're getting some good ramps built. Really? Have you been anywhere other than California, Arizona? Um, I've been to Las Vegas. We, I went to a contest there. My ramps was pretty good, 16 feet wide. It was pretty good. I like skating contests, but I like skating probably with just six, six or so people in the backyard. It's yeah, it's always the best. How long have you been skating and um, how'd you get into it? Skating 14 years and I got sick of roller skating. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut the bottom of my skate off. What's the difference between Scottsdale and the San Diego scene? Uh, about 100 degrees. <laughs> but what about the people? Do you find it better skating here or better skating back there? I haven't skated that much here. Every time I come out here, either Del Mar's closed or no one will let them skate their ramps because they're all private. And in Scottsdale, there's, there's two perfect ramps uh, that anybody can skate. And there's a million little skaters and everybody's real cool about it. Hey, what's with the tattoos, boys? <laughs> it's a skateboard tattoo, but they didn't have time to put gold wings on it at the time, so. Uh, well, it's okay. <laughs> it's an okay thing. Listen, when you guys... My dad's a GI. I didn't eat my tapioca one day after dinner. He took me down to the local tattoo and slap and gave me one. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. Why don't you show us that tattoo there, Mark? What do you have to say, sir? <laughs> my name is Steve Stedham. <laughs> I, 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 I love my Rasta. <laughs> Let's talk about the way you eat. You eat really well. I don't know. I guess so. I, I just think it's kind of weird that your tongue and your palate is this big, you know, and that kind of rules your whole body. It rules everything that you put in your body. I guess the way I look at it is the less food you eat, the, you know, the stuff, if you eat stuff that's easier to digest, then you're going you're, you're gonna to have more energy to skate. And <laughs> so what's, what's with these lizard and strawberry shakes that you have going here? Actually, they're a combination from uh, Uruguay. Uruguay, and like every time I go tobogganing in Tibet, like they kind of turn them on to me then too. Do you ever try to like explore and make sure that you know what's on your body and try to become one with your body? I never stick my finger up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know when I'm in a contest and I'm in, I hear the crowd going for you, it really pumps me up and I usually skate a little bit better than I do normally. The team to me is a really special team because a lot of us have been riding goings ever since we first got sponsored. Skating's all about being outrageous. <laughs> and um, you get on the ramp with a good friend or two and you're gone. You're gone forever. Last time I went to Houston, I got beat up hitchhiking. We're gonna go with the big guy of going. Mr. John Hogan. I'll look at the ramp called for a reality session. What do you mean you're in Houston? You got cars to clean and dishes to take care of. I can't believe you, you little sh- Come here. You on the phone? Did you walk away from the phone again? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, I think this is the party. Whose party is it anyhow? Think they mind if we crash it?
See you, Gator. About pass out time, no one was looking for blankets. The night's dreams covered the body with sheets of steel. Kahuna. Someone was running their mouth about how sketchy the drop-ins were, crying over conditions. Check out these walls, 66 foot transitions. I don't wanna look stupid. These aren't my shoes. Only 45 second runs. What do you mean it ate my tape? Control the pump, hell with the crowd. Damn photographers. Legs are burning, muscle tension. God, I'm thirsty. Head rush. Damn blister. Yeah! Did you get that one on tape? All right, I made it to the final eight cut jam. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be here, right? A lot of them do have their own brains. Ride to your beef. You know, first aid kits and good buddies. Whose turn is it? Time for some major tricks. Backside air. Lean to tail. Aerial. Alley-oop. Front side grind. Back side grind. Smith side grind. Rock and roll. Rock and roll slide. Japan air. Mean air. Method air. Where? In the air. Boneless. Airless. Careless. Eggplant. Ice plant of fakie. Madonna. Phillips 66. 540 McTwist. 720 McHawk. 1080 McDonald's. One year later. Now the blood won't show.
Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Well, some of the top-rated professional and amateur skateboarders in the country were in the Houston area today. They were here to compete for the $1,000 grand prize in the Shut Up and Skate 85 competition, if you can believe that name. And Channel 2's photographer Jerry Hatton was there. Drop in, and that first skater is going to be Curtis Hyatt. <laughs> The only thing I got at that contest was a box of band-aids for the best beef. Looks like an accident about to happen. That's our news for tonight, and we thank you. I think there's a lot more enthusiasm in street skating and and the emphasis of not of the, having a park around is not going to matter. You know, the parks died, the sport died for a while. I don't think it's going to matter now. We rage on adults sometimes and complain about being exploited. But as the sponsors and the public in general starts pitching in, skating gets bigger and things get done. Swear to God. Well, this is just our photo album for our big Wednesdays. We keep photos of all the professional skateboarders that we have come down. With uh, usually about three to five hundred kids here on Wednesdays. Skate, 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 die, or die, 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 die. Tattoo, Dave Hackett, ripping. It's the end of an era. Pools, backyard pools. My name is Matt Splat, and I'm a local here at Mission Beach. These are my curves. I broke his board today. Break that board! turning into a sport, which, you know, some people don't want it to, but let's face it, when it becomes a sport, we get more respect, and when we get more respect, we get out of jail faster.
If walls could talk, they'd tell you emergency spillways and gravity dams are part of the learning process to the critical flow. On to a compression session where external elements touch the concrete ions with motion curves. A stonecutter's dream with all the carvings. Thank <laughs> you.
It's contest time again. Respect picks up the tab on the entrance fee. Judges will be checking the skaters' levels for their degree of freedom. The crowds are busy watching to see if the pros have tweaked their degree of difficulty. All the marbles' attitudes, and they're off.
With the contests over, you remember why you started skating. Even though the crowd really gets your molecules going, it's nice to session without tension. Truth is finding out what you can do and liking what you do. That's what it's all about. I like the banks and I can't do anything on them except ride them. Something I wanted to do is get a tattoo. This is a cool one. Tell I me, mean, what do you think about the skateboard going on here? I think it's illegal and immoral. Let's talk to John Hogan. Okay, let's get serious for a little while. Let's say there's a kid in Mississippi. He feels that he's gotten to the point where, hey, he thinks he can ride for going trucks. He calls you up on the phone and says, hi, my name is Johnny Fratt and I'm, I'm ripping. I've got a little street ramp in my yard. How does he go about getting on the team? Well, usually I like to have a kid who's already had uh, a little background and a lot of experience in professional wrestling. Johnny's a really good guy. He's just out in Arizona. We had a really good time. Had a little incident with a dude in a baseball bat. Every time we stay in a hotel, like, I'm in there for, like... Well, what do you do in the show? I just, I'm a clean dude, and there's so many things to clean, you know what I mean? <laughs> Most kids want to know, um, what are your favorite things other than skating? Just smoothies and a little cantaloupe now and then. Skate tough. Or die!